second episode of Theme Park Map Monday. Uh, this Monday we're going right back to 1999, Legoland Windsor, and a park map from just before the millennium. This was when parks were started to invest a little bit, getting ready for the millennium. Uh, a lot of excitement around that sort of era. Um, this one kind of comes with a little kind of brochure attached. It's quite nice. A um, bit of a introduction to Legoland for people who hadn't been then. Bearing in mind it had only been open a few years at this point. Um, and really pushing it from 2 to 12 year olds. Uh, obviously people from all sorts of ages go now. And they cater in probably as much for you know, young teens as the little children. Um, and this year was when they introduced uh, the smaller the dragons coasters. I think this was just in response to a, a lot of success with the big dragon coaster and a lot of small kids getting a bit upset because they couldn't go on it. So they developed a sort of training coaster. It's a nice idea. They had the power tower, which obviously has been removed for this season, which is a bit of a shame. The whirly birds or the helicopter ride, that was new for 1999, uh, as well as the slides are pretty much seasonal now obviously you got your old favorites like the boat in school i know there's not a picture there driving school really focus on education back then as well with the mindstorms learning center i always could go in there and create something and turn the page we have gone to mini land big focus on europe back then uh, not a lot changed in mini land until this year Obviously, really focusing on Europe and now a bit more with the sort of explore in the world and the USA, Miniland USA. So, it's probably the biggest change this year. So, that's 18 years on, 19 years, depending on which way you look at it. And back there, they had a bit of a circus, which obviously become Laser Raiders a bit later on. Uh, live entertainment sort of had the the equivalent of the pirate show has gone through a few geysers along the way. Some special events for that year. Easter quest. They still do a bit of an Easter quest. Uh, well, they got gardening fun. Never found gardening fun myself. They're clowning around. Lego World Club weekend. Uh, September praises in the park. Christian celebration. <laughs> nope. Um, and then the laser light and fireworks extravaganza. She's just gone from strength to strength over the years. What's going on? Every day will be wonderful. Yeah, filling your faces with food. Still a big part of any theme park. It's nicer where the theme park's got a bit more theme for meals now. I think they're generally going more the American way. Make it interesting. If they're going to overcharge on food, might as well do it in something nice. Yeah, we've got all the normal stuff you generally get in your park map. Let's go through the park map there. You can see it, how it's changed over the years. Castle Land, Wild Woods, Lego Traffic, My Town, Duplo Gardens. I think Miniland's probably the only one that's actually retained its name by imagination. Yeah, it's probably still the same. And then we got the beginning. But funny enough, that same year, they also had the bigger park map, the one that we're familiar with today so I'm not sure exactly why they had two options for that but it's just quite interesting to see what was new on that time an extreme team challenge which is obviously you know, the slides water slides very rarely open even now castle land that obviously has changed its name balloon school that was one also brand new that year and still very successful now Strange enough, just a bit of a bonus. We've got the brand new map just from this weekend. So there, you can see, completely changed it. Legoland entrance. Don't even think they mentioned the called the beginning anymore. Oh yeah, they do, just down there. Imagination Center, Duplo Valley. And you got all the hotels, they might as well call that Hotel City. A lot of people think they should be investing more in the parks and hotels, but I suppose get the infrastructure right, but still need to start putting new stuff in. It's a big favourite of the Merlin Parks just to change attractions and then bill it as a brand new attraction. 
That's why it's quite refreshing when they've done Ninjago World last year. It's actually something pretty new. Land of the Vikings. I remember that took ages to build. It felt like a it was supposed to be nine to twelve months, and it was supposed to be a two year project. Star Wars Imagination Centre. So lots of changes over the years. All right, that's the end of episode two. Hope you've enjoyed it. Let's see what uh, Theme Park Map Monday will bring for you next week. Bye-bye for now.